the famous person's here. Hi! To recreate the image, I was trying to think who would fit the 30s look best. And I thought pop star and model Sophie Ellis Bexter would be the perfect choice. Wow. <laughs> I felt that your look would fit quite well in that 30s and 40s kind oh, no, of. I love Cecil Beaton stuff. I actually did my history of art A level thesis on Cecil Beaton. Oh I my have, god. Like, in my time, written 3,500 words. On Cecil Beaton? On Cecil Beaton. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. I didn't really want to try and reinterpret an image that I didn't, you know, I didn't feel any affinity with. Where I, whereas I do feel affinity with this one because it's kind of more towards his portraiture and it's more towards. Yeah, his... That's true, actually. It's a good sort of hybrid of the two, isn't it? The portraiture yeah. and the and the fashion thing. And I think it sums him up quite well, really. We're actually using a camera that was similar to the camera that he okay. used to use, a 10x8 camera, and we're going to use similar lights. So it might take a little tiny bit longer. You have to be a bit patient. I've not used this kind of camera for quite a long time, so I'm slightly okay. nervous. Okay, I know, nervous. it'd be lovely. It sounds like you're going to get something really authentic. You've got that look, that look. You've got that look, that look. Between the lines. You the one thing that hasn't really changed, I do get my assistants to do everything. You lonely you great, feel though. my will before I speak. So turn on that low left hook that looks as good. Similar to when I put out cakes, really. Green, oh, does it look good? Yeah, it looks great. Just position, that's great. So, one thing you have to understand about 10 8 is it's all upside down. It's tough, but it is, it's kind of magical as well. And you do feel. A little bit like you're looking back through time through the lens. Done. Okay, so now we're actually putting film into the back. We're going to take two frames um, and hope for the best. We're not quite sure what the exposure will be, so we have to kind of guess at it. Okay, you ready? So you have to stay still now. There's a little switch at the bottom of the nose. So yeah, she's yeah. waiting she for us. Yes, yeah, okay. okay. And you ready? Three, two, one. Great. And quickly turn it round. Let's um, just break for a second, Sophie. Okay, let's do it quickly. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so let's try the sad eyes. So, sad eyes. Three, two, one. All right. Okay, so we've shot film. This is all so different to the speed I usually work at, and not being able to see the image instantly is really disconcerting. <coughs> Everything seems to be taking. An hour to do, which is very frustrating. And I can't even imagine how frustrating it is to sit under that heat. Models will get paid three guineas an hour, and if you bug it around and wasted two hours, you wasted or used six mm -hmm. guineas worth of model time. Great, okay, let's go. Basically, now what we're doing is because we've got absolutely no idea what images we've got or if they're any good or not we're actually reverting back to digital that's lovely with the digital camera hooked up to the computer i can immediately see how the image is looking that's nice just lean forward a little bit like that that's good and up a little higher if you can go high. that's fab hun let me a quick look at those that's wonderful I'm really happy with it, and I think Sophie's finished, so we should get you out, honey, because it's amazing. So here it is, my version of an image taken over 70 years ago using a face of today and the latest digital camera. I love this picture, it's got a real sense of emotion, though maybe not the sadness of Beaton's original. I actually found it a lot more chattier, but he was a lot more dynamic when we went back to digital, and the film felt a lot more quiet and tranquil. I just let it all happen around me, and I've now decided exactly what I'm going to cook for supper when I get home, so... Really? Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. So what are you having for dinner tonight? I'm going to do cod and chorizo. So the moment of truth... It's not bad. If you look at her face, Sophie was right that the slower pace of the film shoot made a difference. She's definitely got an enigmatic look in the film image that's not there in my modern colour version. <laughs> 